Hi everyone, it's me again, and I'm going to discuss with you the second chapter we are going to see in this week one's class discussion. Chapter two: Financial markets and financial institutions. They are important because they made up the external external environment. For the business, so in the first section in class notes, we discuss the importance of these two items in our class discussion. And in section one, I want you to be careful about the three types of. Three different types of capital allocation on slide number seven to slide number nine. Then,、uh, in the second section, okay. Since we talk about market and institutions, second section is about markets, and the third section is about. Institutions, okay. For markets, you can focus on how to distinguish between different types of the markets. In each、uh, group of comparison, I listed the key factor for us to distinguish between them. And then in the financial institutions,、uh, there are three different types. Three different types of financial inter intermediaries. Okay, that is about how the institutions are going to provide services to their clients and、uh, customers in the market. They are the depository intermediary, the、uh, contractual intermediary, and the investment intermediaries.、Uh, Also, for financial institutions, keep in mind about the comparison between the regulated institutions versus the unregulated institutions. It's easier to remember the unregulated institutions because there are two major players in that group: private equity firms and hedge funds. All the rest of the institutions are under the regulated group, and then in the last section in this chapter, we are going to introduce a specific financial markets to us, which is the stock market. I have two important、uh, things to remind you. Number one,、uh, please focus on. The two flow charts、uh, on the class notes. I have this one, one flow chart. I have this one, the second flow chart about the structure of the stock market and the transactions of the stock market. And、uh, the next one, I'm going to write it down in here. Two flow charts. Another one is the efficient market hypothesis, which have which has three types of the efficient market hypothesis: the weak form, weak form of market efficiency, the semi-strong form of market efficiency, and the strong form. Of the market efficiency, the key thing to distinguish between them is what are the、uh, the information get involved into the stock price. For weak form of market efficiency, the current stock price has only the past information. 
in a somewhat strong form of market efficiency. In addition to our weak form's current uh, past market information, the current stock price also has the current public information. Well, in the strong form of market efficiency, we will include past information, current public information, and current private information. And that is the key things in the four sections in our chapter two. To wrap up, you can see that in the first one, in the first week, the chapter one and the chapter two uh, in our class discussion, they are very qualitative. No quantitative or calculations get involved. Uh, I want to use this module one, the first week, for you to get used to the class notes and the discussion questions. Then, starting from the second week, we are going to have another two modules. Each module will cover about two weeks. Module two will cover chapters three and four about financial statements and analysis. And uh, module three will be from week four to week five about the time value of money. In the rest, in the next two modules, we'll have more quantitative discussions and calculations. Thank you.